Right, so last year I changed the uh, steering gear in this van. It's a 1991 B250 full-size uh, van. And I put in a redhead steering gear. And something I ran into was that it was uh, stiff to turn towards the right. And it had lots of power boost turning to the left. So I talked to Redhead Steering Gear about it and they said that I need to make an adjustment on where the uh, valve control body attaches to the power steering uh, steering gear. So we're going to take a look at that. So the first thing you have to do to, to do this job is you have to lift out the uh, reservoir for your windshield washer fluid. This is a Canadian model van so it's got the uh, pump on the bottom. Then it has a, a float switch on the top to notify you when you are going to run out of fluid. Is, uh, in Canada, if you run out of washer fluid, you end up having to pull over on the side of the road in the winter and wipe off the windshield with uh, snow regularly, so you need to have your washer fluid. So if we look down there, hopefully it's not too dark. Arrange things here for us. So this uh, body here needs to be adjusted either upwards or downwards. So there's two bolts holding it on to the uh, pump there's for the device here, one there, one there. So I'm going to loosen these off a little bit. So when I got the steering gear, you have to reuse that portion of the uh, van, from what I recall. Actually, it may be that you only need to replace part of it, but anyway. So uh, I just need to move that up or down to set up the balance. So I took a look in the... Uh, factory service manuals to confirm that and that's uh, the way it's supposed to be. So uh, I'm going to shut off the camera here and uh, do a little bit of adjustment and see what we can figure out. Okay, so uh, you loosen the two bolts there, they're about 13 millimeter. So I don't know if we can see it or not, but that valve body there slides in a channel. I tried to mark the side of it with a tire marker there. So I know where it started. Let's see if I can get two hands in here somehow and uh, try to adjust this while filming without destroying my camera. Bear with me. So, like I said, there's O rings underneath of this so you don't lose any fluid, which is good because the uh, hydraulic fluid is very expensive in this vehicle. And they say if you're going to move this, you got to bump it here or bump it from below. Well, I need to bump it upwards I think. It looks like I'm probably at the end of the channel going down. They say to be careful with that when you're bumping on it so you don't damage anything. Plus what they don't want you bumping on the, the head of the bolt. So anyway I just wanted to show you that. So this uh, it's meant to be an adjustment. Just got to figure out how to move it carefully. Alright, so I moved the uh, valve body up on the steering box and uh, so now with one finger I can turn to the right but it's very hard to turn to the left. So I would say if you want more right hand boost you lift it up and if you want more left hand boost you will push it down. So now I just got to find a happy medium. Well, I think I had a success just push it down a little bit. Seems like it's a uh, nice uh, firm steering either direction now. It's not like driving a, a hydraulic tractor in one direction and then manual steering in the other direction. That's pretty cool. I'll have to just put the reservoir back on there and take it for a drive there on the highway and see how she goes. Thanks for watching.